What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Armix Show. As you can see from that hike down, we are doing a little bit of camping from probably the stuff you saw on my backpack and whatnot. But I'm in a spot where you've seen me bend before. Um, we are on the creek here. This is where we mostly catch grayling and rainbows. Um, some salmon run through this spot, um, but by the time they get here, they're pretty much dead. But I'm on this bluff again. And this is where we camped last year. Um, like I said, I have a video of that on my channel. But this time around, um, I've got the same goat tent again. I've got this little fleece sleeping bag type thing. Um, and then I lugged along some cooking supplies. So as you can see by the title of the video, we're gonna be doing a fried peanut butter and jelly. So I'm gonna get the tent set up and then kind of get organized. And then I'm gonna head down to the creek, do a little bit of fishing and hopefully catch a PB grayling or a bow. That'd be amazing. Um, I do have the two weight with me. I've really been loving that. Huge shout out to Spotted Dog Custom Rods. Uh, it's my buddy's company and they decided to make me a pro staff member not too long ago. So I have a custom fly rod. It's called the Grayling Gobbler and I've been getting these grayling on it. Um, really fun and they've been hitting a lot of dry flies recently. I'll show you some of the new ones that I picked up. But for now, I'm gonna get camp set up and then we're gonna get to fishing, baby. Well, freaking rookie mistake here. I don't have any of the tent poles with me to set the tent up. Thought they were all in the bag uh, since I used it last time, and they're not. Um, so yeah, maybe no sleeping in the tent tonight. Does it rain on me? Don't mind just bugging out, but Probably after we're done cooking, I'll just go hike up and sleep in the truck, something like that, or, or just sleep outside in the wilderness. Who knows? We'll see. But pretty dumb on my hand not doing a triple check and seeing if I have the tent, the tent poles. So, but you live and you learn. So, well, we're joined by Caleb. And the Steve. And these are kind of some of the little flies I was talking about earlier. Um, I think I'm going to start with this one. Kind of like a gray foamish beetle. And I picked up a bunch of different other ones. Like this orange looking caterpillar. The one we've had the most luck on is this orange and black beetle one. They've been smacking that. I think Caleb already got hooked up on this, on that one. But we're going to get to swinging. Hopefully catch a couple. It is raining on us pretty good out here. But we'll see.
Our little guy right there. About time a freaking hooked into one. First one today, boys. He freaking smacked the crap out of that mosquito fly. We're gonna go ahead and get him unhooked, get him unreased, <laughs> get him released. Not bad, probably about a 13 inch or so. Can I have this fly back, bud? I know, I know. Shoo, we're gonna let him go. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. Whoo! Go boys. He was a fighter too. He was, he was really freaking pulling down. I mean, of course I have a two weight, but <clears throat> on the board. On the board. Finally. Let's go. Hopefully he'll come back up. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. What in the world? Just, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're Steve? Down. It's a chum. It's a chum. A chum on a two way. Just keep the fight going, dog. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're chilling, you're chilling. He won't go too far. Oh no! Why do we have to hook a chum on the two weight? What uh, what test is your uh, leader? Thirteen. Thirteen. That's not so bad. Yeah, keep that boy on there. What if we're just tripping and it's a rainbow? I think it was the chum. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> He's in that freaking current. Yeah, he's gonna come back up to you. At some point, he's gonna swim back up. Yep, he's coming. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Can you like net this guy, maybe? Oh, Jesus. Let me go get in the water. Oh! No, he came off. Oh. I think he broke me. Ah, damn. Whew. Well, fought a chum on the two weight. It was on an egg. It was on an egg, yeah. Boys, little late night grayling. Let's see if we can get him in here. <clears throat> Kind of gave up, just 
Maybe he's wrapped, that might be why. Or I hooked him wrong, hooked him in the belly or something. It's kind of what it seems like from the look of it. He came up on the dry, but uh, I think he might just be wrapped. Looks like the flies in his mouth. Get the net here. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, shoo, boys. Not a bad one. Maybe like he's kind of thick. Maybe 13, 14, maybe. Oh, hook popped. Hook popped. Not a bad one though, boys. I mean, like, well, <laughs> there you go, buddy. Thanks for eating. All right, you guys, we are all done fishing. Um, I only caught that one grayling, and then I hooked that chum, which was really crazy on the two weight. Um, it was very exciting. I was really scared that I was gonna break my rod, but he, he wasn't fighting like too much, but seems when I got him close and he was running at me, I was able to almost land him. And then I think he just got scared and he just took off downstream and, and he broke, but I'm glad he broke the line. He didn't break my rod, um, but pretty much all done fishing for the night. Um, like I said earlier, I goofed. I didn't bring the tent poles, but made a little makeshift thing, you know, kind of some alone stuff um yeah gonna sleep in there tonight see see how it goes um but as you can see by the thumbnail this is where the juicy stuff begins and i am setting up the cooking stuff for the fried pbj so stick with it we're gonna get going at this and hopefully these taste pretty good um kind of an idea i've had for a really long time and yeah here we go all right so pretty much what i'm gonna do is i have these little gallon bags here and i've got my flour i've got my eggs as you can see and then i have those bread crumbs so i'm gonna put all three of those in three different baggies we're gonna make the pbj dunk them in the flour dunk them in the eggs dunk them in the panko into the pan um, pretty simple so we'll see how we do bit of eggy in there. A little bit of egg. Everybody likes a little bit of egg. Alright, smash these up a little bit. Get them all beat up. A little squishy egg. Alright, so we got that all prepped up. And then, now it's time to crack open the bread. And this is just like some sourdough English muffins. They're circular. I thought they'd fit pretty good in the pan, so that's why I chose them. All right, we've got good old strawberry. And then got creamy peanut butter. This is just what I had at home, but normally I am a crunchy guy. So unfortunately didn't have any at home. Didn't feel like buying any, um, but yeah, creamy. all done and then on to the second one into the egg again egg. 
Alright, I'm gonna say it's good. This is gonna be dangerous! In we go! Oh my gosh! Alright, hold the pan good here. And that exploded. That exploded. She's sticking. Oh goodness, it's cooking fast. It's cooking really fast. Maybe the oil is too hot. Woo! Cooked, cooked a little fast, boys. That oil's pretty freaking hot. Okay. Okay, we're gonna call that one good. All right, for this one, I'm gonna turn the burner completely off. I'm gonna take the pan. I'm gonna move you over. Ooh, there we go. Smoother transition than the first time. And there we are, boys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut into these. We go this first one. Oh goodness. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. This one, you know, is what it is. Ooh, look at that cross section. Sheesh. All right, boys. Here we go. I'm trying her. <laughs> that is wow. It's almost it's almost got like a like a cake feeling to it. Like biting into a deep fried cake. Wow. This one's really good. Alright. Going for for the, the little burnt one. Still good. Still good. It's gone. Both sandwiches are gone. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, that was really fun. Something to kind of spice up the videos and just bring a little bit extra to fishing. Um, don't really have the best setup to sleep in tonight, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, I'll be all right. I've slept in crazy situations before. Um, but earlier we caught that grayling. And then we also hooked that chum. That was pretty exciting. Um, probably gonna go down in the morning and make a few casts, see if I can catch a bigger one and catch a little bit more. I'm gonna include that in the next video that I do. Um, it's kind of gonna be a continuation of the area that I am in currently. Uh, for that, we're gonna be hunting some rainbows, but still cool. Um, pretty happy with that and we're out here we're enjoying nature man just on my lonesome but if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a comment let me know what you think and like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace I'm going to the truck